Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be tuning in from. You might be wondering, how come I open up like that? It's because I never know what time it is when you tune in, but I want to welcome you. And I want to be delighted that you're here at all times, no matter what time of day. But today is going to be very interesting, the way I, I bring forth this answer this message that I felt really strongly on my heart in the last week. I wasn't sure at first, but this week has been so divinely guided, and I firmly believe that in the bottom of my heart. First of all, for those of you who do not know, I am a reverend, a minister. I um, started out my journey in ministry back in missions. I traveled to Mexico with my late husband and I taught English to non-native speakers. I have built animals and sewed, uh, sewed them up and sold them for an income. I learned about nature, natural processes, and how to make them for my body to improve it better in health and movements. I've also studied in the Bible a great deal and I remember one of my very first experiences that I began into ministry. I, I It's been this week that it finally was like rem memory lane if you want to call it that. Um, remembering the very first times that I ever did the ministry works and traveling and teaching. Now mind you, this this whole setup, this ministry setup, this teaching setup, and I am not getting preachy here, I'm just sharing with you exactly where I'm, you know. It was before fibromyalgia ever hit it, okay? So, back before fibromyalgia, uh, I hadn't been really, I hadn't traveled yet. In fact, it was when I had fibromyalgia and didn't know it that I was doing missions. I didn't know that my health was bad, so I was using nature to do the healing process, just going by faith. And I was clueless. I, I literally was like, okay, what next? I was going by faith the whole time. What next? I was teaching. What next? I was creating bears. What next? I was cleaning and working tables in restaurants where I didn't speak uh, their language per se. But somehow I intuitively knew what to say, how to respond, etc. And I, I just followed in faith. I had fibromyalgia at the time. Didn't know it. It was the beginnings of it. And I, I didn't, I did, couldn't understand why I was waking up tired, why I was struggling to function. I couldn't understand why on occasion my body would just ache and I was just like struggling. And I remember my late husband, he said, nope, no excuse, up, 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 move, keep going. And I, and I had no choice. I knew that if I didn't move, he was going to be all over it. And at the time, we didn't know what fibromyalgia was. In fact, he didn't even know that I had fibromyalgia when he passed because it was after his passing I learned. So um, back in my early trainings that I actually developed a faith and a love for the Bible. So I'm working on uh, putting together a study on a part of the Bible, which I won't be getting preachy here about it, but I will be sharing little excerpts because something that's really important is remembering how faith is key factor in fruition of a life that's filled with light and fun and excitement. And with fibromyalgia, light and excitement just don't exactly, they're like oil and water. But they don't have to be. Because having faith and working by faith, you actually start to learn what you can do rather than what you can't do. 
and that's kind of what I'm all about, you know? That's why this channel is all about what can you do with fibromyalgia? So what? You have fibromyalgia, whatever. Hey, I'm speaking to the choir because I have fibromyalgia, full blown, chronic pain, chronic fatigue, the whole nine yards. I have to remind myself of this too. So I'm sharing with you that I am doing um, preparations because I haven't done it yet, but I am definitely on the works of it, of doing work from home, disabled works. And I don't mean disabled works. I want you to find the ability and the disability. My goal is for every single person who has fibromyalgia, yeah, it's classified a disability. So what? What's the ability? What are your strengths? What do you enjoy in life? I know you don't enjoy sitting around doing nothing and not being social. Oh, heck no. I don't know anybody with fibromyalgia or chronic pain or chronic fatigue syndrome. I don't know anybody with a chronic illness who wants to stay on the sidelines and watch life go by. At least not completely. They may have given up and decided, you know what, that's the way it's going to be. It doesn't have to be. I've actually met people who feel that they are better off sitting in bed seeing woe is me. And that's your choice. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, have some faith. Hey, let's get up and move. Nah, not my stuff. Nah. I will share with you, though. Faith is going to be your biggest strong point. Faith not only on the outside around you. Faith is internal. Knowing you have skills and you have abilities, which is why I'm sharing work from home for the disabled person. And I'm hoping to get it out this week, one a day. I'm also looking at getting out different materials, different um products that can help improve life for people with fibromyalgia. Those two are biggies for me to share with you. Now, faith in yourself and knowing that you yourself can do anything you set your mind to, set your heart to. It's not easy, but it is possible. S taking one step at a time and having faith that you can make a change anywhere in the world around you. Now, there's a big wide world out there that you're not a part of. And there's a close-up world that you're right near. Right in the first five feet of you. Now, if you're not in front of people, that is not a choice to be making for you in the positive. Can you make that choice to be away from people? Sure! But it's not going to be fun. And it's not going to be in conducive to your health. We, as people, God created us to be together. God created us to love one another, to be around people, to enjoy one another, to grow in happiness rather than to sit there and push everybody away and be obstinate. Now, our bodies are hurting and we're exhausted and we want to push away because of that. I'm going to give that, definitely. Only because I've been there. But the one who wants to be around the people, who wants to actually enjoy being social, remembering to have faith within and knowing that you can do things. Remembering the things that you did do before this crisis, considered to now. Now, I'm gonna be putting some notes in here um, on my different socials to encourage people to uplift, to motivate during the week. And that's basically because I want you to get involved in my social media. I don't want you to just stay here. Don't You can stay here all you want. I mean, I'm 
few minutes to after 10 minutes and I do apologize but I want to be clear faith right now for yourself will help you to grow it will help you to find who you are internally I'm working on a creating a program right now to where it define it helps you to define that faith it helps you to define yourself it helps you to really dig deep and accept who you are, where you are, and where you want to be. And I'm just giving a generalized overview of the whole process that I'm putting together. I'm hoping to have it together by the end of the week. But I want you to know that I this is my agenda. And I know I've talked about the work from home before, but I actually have it written out this time and I'm actually getting my computer and my phone situation figured out for cameras. I do have a camera to do filming, but I just, as I've said before in my past videos, I'm not techie. And it's not because I don't want to be, it's because I don't get it. So my phone is on limited storage capacity, so I, I'm struggling with my phone. And I can't use my phone to do YouTube videos live. So I do my videos on my laptop and deliver them to you from my laptop. So this is my Fibro Friday, but on a Sunday excursion with you about faith and how it connects with fibromyalgia. There's a lot more to it, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And um, check out my sites, to, uh, my socials too. Look forward to next time.